Seven low-cost do-it-yourself tips to prepare your house for sale. That's the topic of my next video. Low-cost tips to get your house ready for sale. That's the topic of today's video. Hello everybody, my name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed real estate agent right here on Long Island. If you're looking to get your house ready for sale, but you don't want to spend too much money and at the same time increase the marketability and bottom line sales price, then this video is for you. I'm going to share with you tips that will get the job done and not take too much of a hit to your pocket. That's right, seven tips, seven tips that you can do doesn't take too much effort, doesn't take a lot of um, handyman skills as well. So let's get started. Oh, and by the way, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And let's start with tip number one. First thing you need to do, they always say curb appeal is the biggest thing when it comes to selling a house. You only get one chance to impress that buyer that comes to the door, or these days, to impress the buyer online before they even come to the door is much more important in the day of virtual open houses. So curb appeal, what can you do that doesn't cost too much money but gets that job done? Well, the first thing is clean up your yard. If you have a lot of weeds and uh, weeds growing out of the, um, you know, in between the cement slabs, clean them out. If you have some shrubs, or if you don't have shrubs, get some low-cost shrubs from some of uh, the local um, home gardening centers and put a little landscaping. Even if you put them in pots and put them around the property, you want to basically make the house look as nice as possible. So curb appeal, gardening is a big thing. If your lawn hasn't been cut, cut it. If you uh, your, the bushes that you have around your property are growing wild, maybe hire a landscaper to do a spring or a cleanup just to get the house ready to show well. Because like they said, you only get one chance for that first impression. Number two, and this is so very important and so many people don't even think of it, clear the clutter. Well, what do I mean by that? Everybody knows what clutter is. All that stuff that you have all over your desk, all over the kitchen, all over the bathroom that's just been laying there and when you get around to it, you're going to go throw it out and clean it up. All that stuff needs to be removed because remember, you are selling your house to a potential buyer. If they come into your property and it looks cluttered, you're going to turn them off right away and you don't want to do that. So clear the clutter very important tip number two tip number three home repairs you know that broken door handle that you've been waiting for months and months and when you get around to it if it's on the honey-do list or you're going to call the home repair uh, handy person and you just haven't gotten around to do it do it those little home repairs can really turn somebody off a lot of people have difficulty looking beyond the broken doorknob and they see a broken doorknob and automatically this house is not for them because they can't see past it. That was tip number three. Tip number four, very important. Again, you're selling a house that you've lived in. You want people to think, picture themselves living in the house and making that house theirs. So clean, clean, clean. Everything in that house needs to be as clean as possible. The last thing somebody wants to do is walk into a dirty house, particularly now with this pandemic that's going on. If they see dirt, they're going to get turned off from the house. So make sure you clean it. If you're not good with that, hire a professional cleaning service and have them go through every single room, including the basement and the garage, and the backyard also and make the house as clean as possible if you have siding on the property power wash if it looks dirty you, you'll be surprised how a good power washing on a deck on even the bricks or pavers can really give a very positive first impression and all-around impression of your property so clean the inside clean the outside clean the windows that's tip number four Tip number five, the house could be spotless, the curb appeal can be great, but if all of a sudden you walk in that house and oh my God, I just made this great shrimp scampi the night before and the house smells like shrimp scampi, well, when the buyer comes in, 
they might not like shrimp scampi, so you have to make sure it has a neutral or no odor whatsoever. A good trip they a good trick they always say in real estate is to um, bake some chocolate chip cookies. Everybody loves homemade chocolate chip cookies. And I don't mean light the candle. I mean bake the cookies, have them out on the counter, and that particular that that good smell in the house is actually a positive and it can offset the bad odors. But definitely open the windows, try to get those odors out, turn on some air purification. You know, if you have an air filter or something like that that purifies the air, then bake those cookies. If you don't have the cookies, light a candle, uh, but get those ugly odors out of the property. It is definitely a turn off to a lot of people, unless they like shrimp scampi. But I don't know about 9, 10, 11 a.m. in the morning. That could be a turn off. Uh, depersonalize. Yes, those pictures on the walls of all the family events. Not a positive. Remember, you have to think as a potential buyer. You go into a property and you see their family on the walls. They're thinking that this is your house. And even though they know it's your house, they're trying to see the house is theirs. And if they can't get past that because you have all your family stamps, pictures all over the walls, that's not a positive. Okay to have one or two pictures, uh, but to have a whole gamut of pictures all over the place, not a good thing. So depersonalize your house and get all those pictures off the walls. And with that being said, a lot of times if you get all those pictures off the walls, you start noticing that the paint has faded around the pictures. And when you take the pictures off, oh, that's what my paint color look like. So paint where needed. And that might mean go through a whole room. If you had a lot of pictures in the living room and you take those pictures off and it looks like spots everywhere, that's not a positive. Get a neutral color paint. If you're handy enough to paint yourself, paint that living room or family room a neutral color. If you have uh, areas where you've you know taken pictures off and you need to do a little spackle, do that. There's tons of YouTube videos on how to do that properly. If you're not that good, hire a local handy person to come in and take care of all those minor painting needs. Now, do you have to paint the whole interior of the house? I'd say no. But if you want to, that's a plus, particularly if it's a lot of uh, really strong colors that turn people off. You want to make neutral colors like beiges and whites. Often again, remember, some people can't see past the minor things in the house and you don't want to reduce your buyer pool so make sure that you touch up where needed hire a professional painter or a handyman if you want to go the extra mile and get those things taken care of so number seven the last one like i mentioned is painting the house so let's re let's go through the seven real quick you want to get your house ready for sale you want to do it yourself or low cost what can you do? Number one, curb appeal. Number two, clear the clutter. Three, make the minor repairs. Four, clean, clean, clean. Five, pleasant house smells. You want to get rid of those bad odors in the house. Six is depersonalize all the pictures we've mentioned. Seven is paint where needed. Now, I hope these help. I hope they were helpful. Uh, if you're new to the channel again, my name is Mark Schreier. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. I am a realtor with Century 21 American Homes. And for those people who would like this video in an actual ebook, please leave a comment or better yet, instant message me. Uh, your contact information, your email, your phone number, and I will send you out this free ebook. No cost, thus the word free. Uh, if you're more comfortable clicking the link on the bottom, click the link. It will take you to another page. Just fill out the information and you will get a free book with the seven do-it-yourself tips to get your house ready for sale. I hope this video was helpful. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.